Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at an amazing tool that will be very beneficial to both photographers, freelance artists and anyone who is into the space of retouching. And this tool is the Portrait Pro from the guys at Anthropics. Now the whole idea for this tool is for you to focus on the art of taking wonderful pictures while this tool takes care of everything that has to do with retouching. First of all, it is going to stop you from wasting time dealing with unnecessary, unnecessary controls that you find on other apps. And then it is going to help you get that perfect picture you're looking for. So without further ado, we're going to take a look at Portrait Pro and see how it gets going. Now, if you want to get this tool, link is going to be in the description where you can find all of the amazing features like relighting, working on your eyes, doing all of those expensive makeup that you've either forgotten got to do or don't have the budget for and if you're excited about this let's take a look at the tool so we portrait pro open right here i'm going to simply load up an image that we downloaded off the internet i'm also going to put a link in the description so you can see that and the first thing which you would notice is this tool will go through and identify the face find the gender and also identify all of the tiny and impressive facial features that you need when reworking or when working on the face and right now you can see it has identified the eye the iris the nose the mouth the whole jawline and it also figured out that this is a female character now first things you would notice out of the bag is once you're looking at the both of them it has taken a look at the image and applied their skin smoothing feature which is a technology that they developed for this particular version so if you look very close you would notice that we have these pretty cool things going so let's take a look at this you can see what the before looks like and this is the after of course you would notice a very clear distinction between these two but then it actually gets better because if for some reason you don't like the lighting that you did you can work with all of these control modules that are here to make tweaks so let's start with the lighting so if you go over to the lighting you can choose to bounce the light where and however you want so relighting check you have that one going for you you can also mask and see the sections within your object that is masked so if you want to see the mask automatically this has done that so once you click you can see what the mask look like if you'd also like to increase the masking areas you can simply make use of the brushes that it automatically gives you so you have the extend and the cutback which is for reducing and also increasing and you can use that to mask certain areas now once you're done masking these areas you can either choose to recalculate the skin mask refine the edges or you know just say okay so once you say okay to this every single feature or every single thing you do within the skin lighting and coloring section will be applied to the entire skin so for example if we choose to bounce the light you can notice that the light is not only bouncing on the face but at the same time is affecting the skin underneath so we can also do that right here we can increase the light if we want and bounce it over to a point like that and if we just go by the other side, we can also choose to reduce the light. So I'm just going to put this right here so we can have some pretty cool looking, you know, light going on there. Next thing which you may want to do most times when you're retouching your picture, because at this point, you don't need to bother about the whole frequency separation thing because automatically this tool has taken care of that. So probably the next thing you may want to do is to work on the makeup. And this is very important because at this point, we know she has some pretty cool lips, but then having a makeup or lipstick on that might make it even better. So we're going to go over to the lipstick section and I'm just going to apply a little bit of lipstick and you can see before, after, before, after, incredible, this looks good. We can also notice that by simply zooming in, we have a couple of artifacts going there. Now, the reason why we're having those artifacts is because right here, the tool has thought that this is also part of the lips and it's just for us to go in there and make sure that the lip stays within the boundaries of the lips without affecting the teeth and the same goes for every other part of the body. So once we're done with this and simply let's click on this button right here to frame in on the face. And once we're done with this, we can choose to throw in some mascara. Now this mascara, you may have noticed once we zoom right here, that the lashes are falling short. Of course, we want our model to look beautiful like every other one on the internet. And so we are going to go over to the mascara and instead of using the medium, we are going to use some bold false lashes and this actually makes the face pop even way better now if you also think that maybe it looks a bit too fake you might want to smooth this out so let's go in and smooth it just a little bit and at the same time you may also want to notch this a little bit now depending on your model you can choose to notch this but i think it's fine for this so we're only going to zoom out and take a general look at what we have this is the before 
and this is the after we love the mascara but then let's apply some eyeliner you may also want to apply some eyeshadow so maybe if your model does have an eyeshadow but it's not popping as much as you think it should while you were walking or while you were taking the picture then you can also make some adjustments so for the eyeshadow we can you know just add a couple of eyeshadows change the color however you want and you can see because it has this neural technology built into it it kind of thinks about how it should be applied over a layer of skin and it does a very good job at that and we can go in there and throw in some pretty cool eyeliner so we can throw in this right here and then for the lower eye we can also throw in some pretty cool ones so you can see that we have the eyeliner right there this is pretty pretty good so for all of the things that you may want to do when it has to do with retouching this tool kind of covers that and i do know a couple of people will be like what about the eye what about the hair what about the teeth yes you can still fix that because at the point like so we can choose to say we want to clean the teeth or maybe we just want to whiten it and then we can just whiten the teeth just about the point like that and then we can clean this just about a point like so if you also want to moist the lip maybe you don't feel you know that this is moist enough okay okay all right you can also choose to moist the lips and then once you're okay with this you can jump over to the eye and start making some pretty cool and nice decisions one of the decisions you may want to do is to throw in those contact lens or change the color of the eye and in a situation like this since we kind of think that this should be probably what a blue eye maybe something like that yep we can throw in a blue eye throw in something like so maybe we want to throw in a different kind of eye you can just throw in those contact lenses right there if you would also want to reduce the opacity of this yes you can so you can also turn down the opacity and you can get exactly what you want you can see the eye is always the window to the soul and you can literally see that we have that crispy looking eye compared to what we had here that was just totally black so going all the way up we can turn out the red eye if this is something we are not comfortable with and then we can throw in some reflections if we think maybe this eye doesn't have good reflections or the reflections are not so good for what you know we're going for so we can throw in a reflection like so and you can see that and it's just beautiful that to everything that you're creating there is an opacity slider that can help you dial things down like this and you can also dial them up so we can just dial this one a little bit down and then you can see we have that reflection right about there so by simply going all the way to the top you can also notice that we have the hair we have the nose and we have the mouth so let's take a look at the hair once you click on view slash edit hair mask automatically you're going to notice that the parts that it selects are considered to be the hair and of course you have this pretty masking tool which you can use to cut down on areas so we can cut back on this area so we don't want this to be considered as hair and we can just simply click on ok or refine the edges and then you can get this one going you can also choose to play with the color so let's say we want to get some darker shade or let's say you want to get a different color on the character's hair or on your model's hair so we can select whatever color we want maybe a brown color like that might be good and then you can play with whatever intensity that you want so you don't want to see it you want to see it more yes you can literally play with all of this but i think it's best to just simply stick with the midnight black since the character already has a dark head going on here and if we simply go all the way up we can tone that just about a point like so so that it just makes more sense so with all of these beautiful things going you may also think that okay we have the hair going we have the face going but then for some reason it just kind of looks flat now once you're dealing with makeup it is also worth knowing that there are certain things that you may want to put together just to make sure that the character kind of pops for example we don't have the bronzer so we only talked about the makeup that ended with the eyeliner we never talked about the bronzer and we may want to just throw in a little bit of a bronzer right there so by throwing in this it is just very interesting to see that we've created a much more cleaner and better looking photo if you also want to widen the eye of your character maybe it has a sleepy eye or something once you go over to the sculpt section within the tools you can choose to widen the eye of your character and if your character seems to be putting on glasses you can restore the glass shape because once you turn this off the sculpting actually happens differently but once you turn this on you can see exactly what we're going for you may want to also increase the hair volume and you can do that so we can have some sort of fuller hair going on there and this is pretty much about it so there are also some pretty good presets that you may want to work with so you can go through and take a look at the presets 
set they are always here if you also switch over to the snapshot you can save different variations of your object so we can save this as zero one and click on ok and get that going and if you are very excited about this tool and you're thinking about how can you integrate your photoshop workflow with this the minute you download this particular tool from the website you will be able to install it and also get the photoshop version now the beautiful thing about photoshop is once you load up the photoshop object and you load up the image that you want to work with you can simply go over to filter go over to portrait pro and it's going to launch the portrait pro app and once this app is launched it's as easy as ever do every single thing that you want to do and once you're done with what you want to do click on the send back to photoshop button and this is going to take all of the changes and all of the things that you've done and bring everything back into Photoshop and with a very beautiful model like we have right here once you jump back into Photoshop you would notice that it does have a very nice looking smart filter so now within the smart filter you'd also notice that below it we have the portrait pro so you can simply double click and it's going to load up a very tiny smart window and within that smart window is where you can control the intensity of what you want so if you want to get some sort of you know opacity value based off what you did in portrait pro versus what you have originally which is this and then this is what we had in portrait pro this is what we had previously you can simply you know have a mix and a pretty cool blend between the both of them so this would come in extremely handy taking out all of the second guessing of how should i go about doing this how should i go about whitening the teeth all those countless times that you spend on youtube trying to get the things going a tool like this will definitely save you so much time you can also choose to throw in some hue and saturation just to get some things looking pretty better than what they look like and and this is just how you can get faster at editing tons and tons of pictures contrary to just spending hours on end trying to get one to look good and yeah this is about it if you're thinking about working with complex pictures or more objects you can simply get these ones happening as this tool also supports batch images so you can find all of the details about this and if you still want to understand what the technology looks like you can also come over to the link in the description and read more about the technology now the beautiful thing is once you want to purchase this tool so let's simply go over to buy now so the beautiful thing about once you want to purchase this tool is there is a standard version the studio version and also a studio max if you want to play with this tool for the time being you can download a 14 day trial which would give you all access to everything that you can do you can play with it do whatever you want to do within that 14 days and if you're sure about getting this of course you can now proceed to purchase this purchasing this tool is pretty cool as it's a one-time purchase and of course you can see there's a 50 percent discount now the beautiful thing about all of this is i did speak with the guys and they did give a 15 percent discount to anyone going over to the store from now till the 23rd of october and simply using the coupon code ask nk so if you go over to the link in the description and choose to buy this you will be getting both the 50 percent discount and also the 15% coming from Ask NK and simply using the coupon code during checkout. And yeah, this is definitely going to be about this. The coupon code lasts all the way from now till the 23rd of October. So grab this opportunity while the offer lasts. Tell me what you guys think about this beautiful and amazing retouching tool in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.